In this segment, I'm going to show you the basic features of the schedule. By default, the schedule shows all of the salon providers for that day on the schedule. If I want to look at one of the providers entire week, I can just hover over their name, click on Pamela right here, and that will show me all of Pamela's appointments for the week. Go back to the View All tab, and that will show you everything that's happening today. Now let's say somebody calls in and they want to schedule a nail appointment. I can click the Nails tab right here, and that will show me all of my nail providers. I can just click on the appointment that they want, 615, start typing in their name, click on their name, and she wants a full set, so we're going to click Create, and that creates a new appointment right here. Another feature that's really easy is changing your appointment time. Let's say Jane right here can't come in at 12.15 and she wants to reschedule her appointment for 1 o'clock. All we have to do is just click on it, drag it down to 1 o'clock, and confirm that we want to change her appointment. We can actually change Jane's appointment if she changes her mind. It says that she wants to come in at 11 o'clock. The only person that has an 11 o'clock opening is Pamela. We can actually drag that appointment from Jane to Pamela, confirm it, and it switches it over to Pamela. Now if Jane notices that she has a big block in her schedule and she wants to schedule time off, all you have to do is just click the appointment right there and we're going to change the time off to two hours. Now no one can schedule an appointment on Jane's schedule today between 12.15 and 2.15. Next I want to direct your attention over here to the sidebar and show you some of the options that we have. If I click on custom view, this is going to bring up all of our service providers. And if I want to look at just a couple of their schedules, let's say Jennifer and Sarah, I can check those boxes and click create. And that's going to show me just Jennifer and Sarah's schedule. You'll notice a new tab up here that says custom view. And if I want to go back to the calendar, I can either click view all, or if I want to get rid of the custom view that I just created, I can just click the X here and that will remove it. Now, I want to show you that there's different tabs up here too. So if we get a phone call and somebody wants to schedule a spa appointment, for instance, I can just click on the spa tab and that'll show me um, those providers that provide spa services. So it makes it easier to be able to navigate through the schedule that way. Next, we're going to take a look at the Appointment Builder. The Appointment Builder is a great option if you have a very busy schedule or if you have two different services that you want to schedule with two different providers. I'll show you how it works. Just click Appointment Builder, type in a client name, click Continue, and then we're going to select a service. Let's say we're going to get a woman's haircut, and we want the woman's haircut to be with Lori. And we're going to add another service, and this is going to be a chin wax. And we're going to have Pamela do the chin wax. I'm going to search the calendar. And that's going to give me all of the options. I'm going to select this date, and that's going to show me that there's a woman's haircut available at 11 o'clock on Friday the 13th with Lori, and chin wax at 11.45 with Pamela, and I'm going to choose to book that one. Take a look at it and make sure this works the way I want it to work. Click Schedule and the appointment was successfully scheduled. The next feature I want to highlight is the wait list. When your salon or spa has a really busy schedule and people want to get on a wait list, it's really easy. All you have to do is just type in their name, select the service that they want, choose the provider, and then you get to choose uh, which dates they're willing to wait for that service. So let's just say they want it between the 12th and the 14th. We can schedule that. You can add any notes. And then you just click Add to the waitlist, and that appointment has been added to the waitlist. Now, if anybody makes a cancellation on Frank's schedule during these dates, a pop up will occur and ask if we want to schedule Jason for his beard trim, and we can choose yes or no. The next one on the sidebar is the employee schedule. If you click that, It'll take you over to this screen and you can choose which date and the specific employees or the entire salon. Click run the report and that will get you the schedule for your salon. You'll notice a lot of different colors happening here. And if we go over to the color key, I'll be able to show you exactly what they mean. This teal color here represents appointments that have been scheduled. They haven't been checked in or confirmed yet. You'll notice that this pink color represents that they've been checked into the salon already, which means the client has arrived and we've checked them in. 
If the appointment's been confirmed, either by phone, by text, or by email confirmation, that will be changed to this off-white color. Let's just say that we don't like the off-white color, and we want all of our confirmed appointments to be really obvious. Something that you can do is you can go into Manage, Advanced Settings, click on Schedule Colors, and let's change our confirmed colors from this off-white color to a really bright green. You can literally change the color to anything you want. We can drag the color here if you want to be a dark green. But let's just go to this really bright green color. That way we can see all of our confirmed appointments. They'll pop off the page at us. We just click Save. Go back to the schedule. And you'll notice that all of the confirmed appointments now are in your face with bright green. Now let's say a new client arrives at the salon and we want to check them in. Rachel right here, we're going to check in. All you have to do is just click on her name, click the check in button, and you'll notice that the color changes to that pink color. One of the other neat features is confirmations. The software sends out an email confirmation and a text message confirmation. So if the client clicks the link in those confirmations, it will actually change the color within the software to let you know that they've confirmed their appointment. You can also manually do this if you confirm over the phone just by clicking on the client's name and click the confirm button and it'll change it to that green color. And the last thing I want to show you are these two check boxes down here. If you click the show canceled button, all of the canceled appointments, the appointments that have been changed, will show up in this light gray. You can actually still click on these. You can go to the appointment log and it'll actually show you when the appointment was scheduled, when it was confirmed, and when it was canceled if you have any questions and want to retrace your steps. I'm going to uncheck that box. And then the show not working, right now it shows all of the employees because that box is checked. But if I uncheck that box, it'll only show the providers that are working today.